Hey, what is up everybody? So in today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at the Umber Operative Arc Trooper from Star Wars Battlefront II. So glad that GameStop finally shipped this thing out and I still play Battlefront II quite often and I play as this guy quite often, so I am pretty excited for this figure. And of course it comes in the Galaxy packaging, Star Wars The Black Series up top. Through the window, you can see the figure. It looks like a yellow jacket. I love the color scheme on this guy. It just looks incredible. It comes with a pair of DC-17 blaster pistols. And this being part of the Gaming Greats line, there's your Gaming Greats logo there. Then you have Star Wars Battlefront 2 there and Umber Operative Arc Trooper. On this side of the box, the front window wraps around. You've got the Gaming Greats logo again there and Star Wars The Black Series down there. And there's the side with the artwork. Awesome looking picture. I love this. And got some cool stuff going on in the background there. But what a just an incredible looking picture. And this color for the Gaming Greats line, it's just gorgeous. You've got a small window on the top of the box. On the bottom of the box, you got the barcode and all this little mouse print. And there's the back of the box. Same picture as the side. You got a short bio in various languages. This Arc Trooper is number nine in this Gaming Greats line. And then you have some warnings down here that no one pays attention to. And since we're here, I'll just read the bio real quick. It just says the Umber Operative Arc Trooper is part of the Infiltrator Reinforcement Unit for the Galactic Republic in the action-packed multiplayer game across all three eras, Star Wars Battlefront II. All right, I'm going to get the Umber Operative Arc Trooper open, and let's take a look at him. Okay, so here is the Umber Operative Arc Trooper out of the box. Let's get a good look at him from head to toe. We'll start with the helmet, and this this helmet looks amazing. The blacked out... the The... The yellow against the black is stunning. I mean, if Bumblebee were an ARC Trooper, I think this is what he would look like. I mean, the, it just looks so good. But the paint on the helmet is just awesome. It's cool how it's kind of scratched in places, how it's not perfectly straight. You know, got some little chips here and there, like right there. The deep black on the visor is very nice. All this in here, all this around the mouth grill, just cool. The fin looks good. The rangefinder. Of course, can be moved up and down. Yeah, I love that. The side, the back. Yeah, what a cool looking helmet. Just very intimidating. Love it. And these pauldrons are very nice, you know, dual pauldrons. Got a great feel to them, great texture. Good detail in here. That's what the back looks like, just more of the same. But yeah, they totally work. They look fantastic. And as far as his chest, so the paint, the paint looks just fabulous. I mean, all this in here, how it's kind of scratched, the lines look good. The little ammo pouch has been moved from the left to right, you know, because this is reused from Echo. It's on the right side on this one, which is accurate to the game, so I'm totally fine with that. Coming around, the backpack, yeah, same backpack as Echo. Slightly different paint job, but it looks great, and it is fixed. You could probably pull hard enough and get it off, but it is glued, so yeah. And then moving on to this belt, so back here in the back, since we're here, the back of the belt looks great. Got a really nice texture on these straps that come down. Thermal detonator looks good. All these pouches look great. There's his holster. Got some more pouches in the front. And then on the front, you got the same kind of belt going on. Really nice texture on here. Yeah, it's a cool belt. I love this. And coming back to his arms, so up here on his shoulder pads, got some really nice paint detail up here, how it's kind of scratched. It just comes down. The gauntlets look really good. Got some little buttons there. Got this going on. All the, yeah, very scratched up back here. Yeah, the paint on the arms is great. And then the hands look fantastic and I'll go ahead and say that I gave him a trigger finger right out of the box. I mean for me it should be a felony to make a character that dual wields and only give him one trigger hand so I gave him a trigger finger so yeah that's that's almost needed so yeah that's good. This arm is pretty much the same this gauntlet's a little bit different got some nice detail in here but yeah the paint on the arms is just wonderful. I mean this looks so good back here on the back of his hand all this in here, how it's kind of scratched up here. That's a good looking figure. And as far as the comma, you know, just like Echo, it is a somewhat soft plastic, you know, but it totally works. That's what the back looks like. Great texture on this thing, but the paint here looks really, really good. And for legs, it's just black armor, some yellow knees, some yellow down here, and some yellow on top of the feet, but it all looks really, really nice. Love this. That's what the back looks like. Love the detail back here. Love how the knee pads kind of come around with this yellow. Looks really, really good. Yeah, what an awesome looking trooper. It's very glossy black. I mean, it's just, it's stunning. And this is complete reuse from Echo. And I'm fine with it because it's an art trooper and this is what they wear. 
The MO pouch has been moved from left to right, totally fine. Same helmet, only this one can be removed. This one cannot be removed. Even though there is a head up under there, very difficult to see, but there is a head under there. So a non-removable non -removable helmet, um, but apart from that, I mean, it is the exact same figure, same comma, same belt, same boots, you know, just a different paint job, but I love this guy. And I'd have to say, they pretty much nailed the look of this guy from the game. I mean, they, it's pretty spot on with the lines, the helmet, the belt, the ammo pouch, everything is pretty much just as it should be. But one thing I wish they would have done, it would have been a really nice touch, is to just paint this back here red. Just get some really vibrant red paint and just blap right here. Because it's in the game. And this figure is from the game. So that would have been a really nice touch, but eh, it's in the back. You're not going to see it that often, but I really wish they would have done that. That would have looked awesome. But still, from top to bottom, it's a really, really good looking figure. And for the sake of the video, we'll just run through articulations. So as far as head, you do have some side to side at the head. The pauldron kind of gets in the way. You have not much in the way of tilt because of the pauldron. You have a little bit of down, but it wants to spring back up. And you have just a hair of up. You have a little bit of front and back at the neck. And you have just a smidge of side to side at the neck. So this pauldron kind of hinders head movement. And because of the pauldron, the arms only go up to about right there. I'm afraid I'm going to break them. They don't go up very far. And they can rotate around, but the pauldron once again gets in the way. But they do go. And he's got some really good butterfly joints up in there as well. He has single jointed elbows that get past 90. There's a swivel at the elbow, a swivel at the wrist. He has a really, really nice up and down hinge on the right hand and a side to side hinge on the left. As far as midsection, you've got some really good twists. You've got some really good crunch. You've got some excellent back and you've got some crazy tilt. Yeah, he's really mobile in the midsection. There's an upper thigh swivel. And as far as legs up, yeah, the belt gets in the way a little bit, but you can get up to there. They go way out and they go back to about there. Single knees that get up that far. There's a swivel at the knee joint. And for feet, they go down to there, up that far, and you've got some swivel at the ankle. So from top to bottom, I'd say the articulation's pretty good on this guy. And as far as accessories, there's the two DC-17 blaster pistols that he comes with. They're both the same. We've seen them before. They're the same on both sides, but they look great. Very fitting for an ARC trooper to have these, and yeah, I like them. And let's see how he holds these. So, boy, the right hand is like concrete, but it goes in very well. Trigger finger is right on the trigger, right through the trigger guard, and he looks very good holding the blaster with one hand. And for the left hand, that'll drop in, and since he now has a trigger finger, that trigger finger goes right to the trigger, right through the trigger guard, and yeah, I love this. That, that's what he needs. I mean, he, he needs two trigger fingers. He's got two blasters. And that looks very nice. Yeah, him dual wielding. And of course, with the excellent elbows, you know, you can get the blasters way up here like this. And just like in the game, you know, you can click the two uh, grips together. You know, too bad he can't spin them, but uh, yeah, you can do that. And with the really good wrist hinge here, the up and down hinge on the right, you know, you can fire low here and maybe have the left one out. I mean, this guy's pretty poseable. You've got quite a few options as far as you know, display in this guy. All right, so now let's take a look at the holsters. So these just drop in, you know, just like on Echo. That looks very good. And as far as the left one, or let go. Left one will drop right in. And, okay, the right one fell out immediately. Let's try that again. Shove that in there. Okay, the right one doesn't stay in. The left one, the left one's pretty stable. On mine, the right one wants to fall out. I mean, not that I'm going to have this guy upside down very often, but yeah, the right one doesn't want to stay in. Okay. Yeah, the right side's pretty loose on mine. Um, let me see if I can really jam that thing in there. Yeah, that's better. Okay. I mean, just like I said, not that I'm going to be turning him upside down very often, but on mine, the right one's really loose. And there he is on the shelf, and man, he looks good. <laughs> that black and yellow just jumps right out at you. I just have him next to his Battlefront II brother, the Jet Trooper, and pff, what an awesome looking figure. That paint scheme is just killer. And as far as height, you know, he's about the same height as all the other clones, which is fitting. I mean, I thought this guy really stood out. He really stands out. I love this black and yellow. This looks just so good. So I just have him just kind of standing there right now. I didn't really put him in any kind of dynamic pose just because shelf space is it's getting a little crowded over here. I love this figure. He looks fantastic on the shelf. Super happy with it. So 
from top to bottom. This is an amazing figure. I mean, the paint, the paint alone just makes this figure just awesome. The lines on the helmet look so good, especially around the mouth girl, how it's kind of chipped up and scratched all in here. Love this. Still wish they would have put the little red dot on the back of the fin. That would have been a really nice touch, but whatever. Yeah, this looks nice. Chest looks good. I love this. Pauldrons are nice. Paint on the arms, just killer. Comma, belt. Everything about this guy is just so cool. Super happy with it. Really happy I picked it up. But I want to hear from you guys. So please comment below and let me know what you think of the Umbra Operative Arc Trooper from Star Wars Battlefront 2. And if you like videos on Star Wars The Black Series, please consider dropping a like on this video. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and please turn on notifications. I'd certainly appreciate it. And I just thank you so much for watching. And we'll see you next time.